My name is Josh, and this is going to be my video review of Mean ROM for the Evo 4G LTE. If you're on the verge of which ROM should I install, and there's plenty of them available right now, and it might be a little bit overwhelming, trust me, give this one a try, and you won't regret it. A lot of things have been updated since version 1. When you hold on the power button, you actually get a bootloader option now, which you didn't get before. So you don't have to manually power down, hold volume down in power, you don't have to do any of that. Another really, really big thing is, I'll bet you if you go to your ROM and you try to run Google Wallet, it won't work on you. Look at that. I have Super SU and it did not ask for Super User. Look at that. No Google Wallet in there. Google Wallet never once asked for root permission. He has included a modified Google Wallet and it does not check for root or anything like that. This is awesome. You have got to try this ROM out. It is super smooth. There is not a single issue with it. I have about 97 apps installed right now and I just I have no complaints at all. And if you look up there at the little battery percentage, to me that's a whole lot better than the little battery bar that has a number inside it. That actually looks pretty sweet. I am digging that battery bar. You might have noticed that with prior versions of Mean ROM, there was a delay when it asks for root. That delay is gone. Grant. That was actually pretty freaking fast. This ROM has already gone through so many improvements as far as better battery life and performance speeds, just tweaking things here and there. And the developer of this ROM is very, very, very active. He replies to pretty much every single post that someone makes if it's a question or a suggestion or anything like that. This ROM is being updated more than any other ROM that I've seen in the forums right now. I'm gonna go ahead and run a quadrant real quick. Keep in mind, gonna go ahead and clear everything. I don't have set CPU or anything like that. It's just raw horsepower right here. About 60 frames per second right there. 4,854. I've seen that number much, much higher. These results don't determine the speed of the ROM or anything like that. Trust me, I've seen it much, much higher than 5,000. Like, like 51, 5,200. Trust me, this ROM is insane. There's a lot of things like with the camera. That's really, really loud, but I believe you can actually take that sound out of there. Yep, now there's no more sound at all, and when you take a picture, there is no sound and my volume is all the way up. I do believe that this ROM includes tweaks to the camera settings as well, as far as taking better quality pictures overall. He did with the Evo 3D. There's just so many updates to this ROM, it would be impossible for me to cover all the changes. I'm very, very sorry about the vacuum. I'm doing my best to mute that sound out. You're just going to have to try this ROM app for yourself. That Google Wallet thing is the biggest selling factor of this ROM to me. See? It says right there, latest Google Wallet modified with device check and root warning disabled. That stupid, unable to determine your current time zone with the stock ROM, that thing got in my nerves. Because I'm central time and I couldn't find the right freaking one and it just kept popping up, which is annoying. Again, I am very, very sorry about that. I actually went and waited until she was was done to continue recording. It looks like when you bring down the notification bar, you have auto brightness. You can just quickly turn stuff on and off by pressing on it or swiping it, it's up to you. Something that really has got to be covered real quick is the messaging app. When you compose a new message and then you go to add a picture, a lot of times it compresses that picture to save data. You can actually change that. Go here to menu, settings, multimedia messages. Look at that, maximum file size, five megabytes. So when you take a picture, it is not gonna shrink that picture and make it really small. That is awesome. Every single ROM should do that. A lot of times I'll just Dropbox somebody a picture if I'm on a stock ROM or they don't include that sitting in the ROM. I'll just put it in their Dropbox and share the link that way. There's a mod with the built-in browser where you can have up to 15 windows open. I don't use the built-in browser. I use Google Chrome, so that doesn't really affect me. But if you use the built-in browser and you don't want to use a third-party browser, you can have up to 15 tabs, which is way more than the stock one. I don't have any music on my phone, unfortunately, and plus I would get hit the copyright thing. But with the screen off and when you're playing music, you can actually hold the volume up button and it will skip to the next track. Under the camera settings, you can actually change the ISO of the picture. 
all the way to 1250 right there. That is higher than the stock ROM. I am a complete noob at cameras, so I choose auto and let the camera do the deciding for me, unfortunately. Whenever you're on 3G and then you go to an area that doesn't have 3G, it accurately displays 1X, letting you know you're in a 2G area. That way it doesn't say 3G and you're wondering why you're not getting 3G speeds. There is just simply way too many features to cover. If you're on any other ROM, I highly recommend you try this ROM out. You will probably end up making a permanent switch. I guarantee it. This is version 8. I wanted to wait till version 1, but that Google Wallet thing is just too... It's just simply way too freaking awesome and I couldn't put this off any longer. Before on version 7 and below and with any other ROM that I had, my Google Wallet said it was unsupported. It didn't say unsupported up here and I could actually use it. It wouldn't even let me get past the first screen. You'd press OK and then it would close out the app. This is awesome. Before I end this thing, I'm going to show you that if you open up a file explorer, one that I highly recommend is ES File Explorer. In the settings, you can actually grant it root. But if you go over here to this mean ROM ICS, he's included the thing where you can remap the buttons. Hey, get down, kitty. You can actually remap the buttons where this right here is your menu button and you would long press on home for the multitasking thing to show up. And this is pretty freaking sweet. This one right here, you can actually have rotation, which I'm gonna go ahead and do real quick. I'm gonna open it up in Goo Manager. There it is, order flash selected. Flash, yes. That's why I like Goo Manager so much. I don't have to manually put it into bootloader, then wait for it to check for the PG whatever zips, and then once it's done, choose recovery, and then install zip and all the other stuff. It just does it automatically for me. Mm. That's something I have a video on. You can actually change that. You can either get rid of it or customize it the way you want it. See, I didn't have to touch it at all. It just did all that for me. Now it's rebooting back to the system. Mm. Shout out to Regal at Odd, because that's freaking sweet right there. You can have your name, your phone number, or your address, whatever you want, in case somebody steals your phone or you lose it or something. The boot animation is pretty awesome too. This is going to happen anytime you upgrade your ROM, because things that were in the system directory changed, and now it's upgrading everything. If you don't want to use a third party app, Goo Manager, and have it automate everything for you and make it super easy, just hold the power button down and choose recovery if you're in Mean ROM. It'll reboot you in recovery and then navigate to your Mean ROM ICS folder that's on the internal storage and choose the zips you want to flash and just swipe it to confirm it. But like you saw with Goo Manager, that's the way I prefer doing it. And Mikey's looking into getting an account with Goo Manager, so if he's ever able to, you'll get a notification sent to your phone. You'll be able to drag down the notification, click on it. It and it will automatically download the upgrade to mean ROM and then it will reboot into recovery, install the zip and everything for you. And when you're upgrading from one version of mean ROM to the other, you don't have to wipe, you don't have to do anything. It'll automatically wipe the necessary like Delvet cache and stuff for you. All right, before we end this video, I wanna go ahead and show you the landscape mode. I don't know why my Wi-Fi disconnects and reconnects on me. I don't know if it's my router or what. I'm gonna go ahead and flip out the kickstand. All right, I got my kickstand out. I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down. And would you look at that, we now have landscape. How many other ROMs include that feature? That is sick. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It lets me know that you like this video and you want to see more videos like it. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please consider hitting that subscribe button up there. You'll get notified when I upload new videos and I will continue to do videos on different ROMs and root methods and I have many other devices as well. Shout out to Mikey XDA. Your ROM is simply amazing. You're one of the most active developers I know on the forums and you push out updates on a regular basis. Seriously, try this ROM out. You will not be disappointed. You will not want to go back to any other ROM. Trust me. Give it a shot. This is what would Josh do. And I'm out.